so as we know equation of stationary wave it is given by y of x t is equal to 2a sin k x cos omega t okay now let me tell you about the nodes so which points are considered as node so the points where the amplitude is zero are called nodes now nd nodes so the points where amplitude maximum are called empty nodes okay <laughs> now let us discuss about nodes so if we are taking an equation one <coughs> to a sin kx is equal to 0 because to a sin kx is representing the amplitude so from the definition of nodes the point where amplitude is zero are called nodes so for nodes to a sin kx equal to zero that means sin kx is equal to zero okay so the point where sine function is zero which point for sine function sin kx is equal to sin n pi is equal to 0 that means kx equal to n pi okay but k is equal to 2 pi over lambda so we can say 2 pi over lambda into x equal to n pi okay pi pi get cancelled then we have x is equal to n lambda by 2 where n is equal to 0 1 2 3 n so on okay first node is obtained at x equal to 0 second node is at x equal to lambda by 2 third node is at x equal to lambda and so on see what i did uh, substitute n equal to 0 firstly in this particular equation in this particular equation x equal to n lambda by 2 i just substitute first of all n equal to 0 so i am getting x equal to 0 i am putting n equal to 1 then i am getting lambda by 2 putting 2 then i am getting lambda and so on this is the formula for the finding of 
nose. Now let us discuss about the endinose. <laughs> okay. So further. Equation of amplitude 2a sine kx that is equal to amplitude. For finding of antinode, we must have sine kx mode that is equal to 1. So, for that particular purpose, kx is equal to 2n plus 1 pi by 2. Okay, putting k is equal to 2 pi by lambda pi by 2. Just so x equal to 2n plus 1 lambda over 4. This is the equation of Antinodes. To find the value of antinodes, we have to use this particular equation. Where n is equal to 0, 1, 2, up to so many. So putting n is equal to 0, we are getting x equal to 2 into 0 plus 1 lambda by 4. So, x equal to lambda by 4. This is the position of first empty node. Now, putting n is equal to 1, x equal to 2 into 1 plus 1 lambda by 4, that is 3 lambda by 4. So, x equal to 3 lambda by 4. This is the position of second antinode and so on. All right. Keep in mind. distance between two consecutive antinodes lambda by two and distance between two consecutive node and np node is lambda over 4. Just keep this in your mind. Okay now. From this we have to find equation of frequency of oscillation in string tied at both ends All right, so all 
consider this block this is this string Another block. All right. <coughs> Total length of the string is L. Okay. This point is considered as starting point, and this point is considered as ending point. Okay. okay. Now, for nodes, as we know, sign k. Instead of writing x, I am writing l because the length is given by l equal to zero. That means k l is equal to n pi. That means 2 pi by lambda into n is equal to n pi. Just cut down pi. Okay. So n is equal to n lambda over 2. Or we can say lambda is equal to 2l over n. Okay. Now, frequency F is equal to V over lambda. So f is equal to v over 2l. So frequency vn or nv upon 2l. This is the equation of frequency. Where n is equal to 1, 2, 3 and so on. Okay. Okay. Done now. Yes. Okay. So let us discuss its different forms. All right. So we have final equation VL by two L. Putting n is equal to 1, then we have f1 is equal to v over 2l. Okay. Now, consider that l is lambda 1 divided by 2. That means lambda 1 is equal to 2l. You have to understand this from where it is coming. F1 is called fundamental or harmony. All right. Now, you don't understand about this. 
lambda one is equal to two l. From where this particular form is taken, right? So as we know, we have formula frequency is equal to v by lambda. Now compare this equation with equation number one. So according to equation lambda equal to two l, and that particular formula is here. Okay. Okay. Now putting n is equal to two, we have F two, that is two v by two l. Two to cancel, that is v by l. Okay. Hence, lambda two is equal to l. F two is called second harmonic. Putting three. So we have formula F three is equal to three V by two L. Okay, and the value of lambda is equal to two by three L. F three is called third harmonic. And so on. We can, you know, keep going. Okay. Now, let me draw a figure for you, so that you can easily understand the topic. All right. Okay. Let's do this. Okay. Figure is not that much good, but just keep in mind that. This is your fundamental or first harmonic. Now, this is your figure one. Let me draw figure number two. Here, yeah, that is second harmonic because as you can see, this particular point, okay, two times value becomes zero. So these points are known as nodes. They are empty nodes. Okay, here it is empty node. That is your second. Figure. Now let me do a third figure. Okay. Here, as you can see, this particular point is 
node this particular point is node empty node empty node empty node so this is your third harmonic okay now let me draw fourth harmonic This is your fourth harmonic. This point node, this point node, this point node. Okay. Anti node, anti node, anti node, and anti node. This is your fourth harmonic. And so on. Here A belongs to anti node, and N belongs to node. Okay. 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 This particular phenomena is used for this particular principle. principle is used in sitar and violin. Do you know about these two instruments? Yes. Now, 